Hello, I am Casa Shiva Jackie here, and this is my cat. Oh no, the, no, that's like Doris, my assistant manager. No, he, she said she's just annoyed. They're recording right now. She just wants to be alone. Why do you even talk about me? Um, we did not have the best start. We won. Two one though. Uh, Peter Bjurman. Max Lagerlöf Lekström, so we have some players from the youth academy that's done it really good. And you can see Fredriksson that we signed there as well has been pretty superb. Well, the one there, then we got the nil nil against Falkenberg that we're going to meet to oh, Falkköping, not Falkenberg, <laughs> they are way better than that. Then we got the draw against Dorfors, IK, Christopher, yeah, uh, Fredriksson, Antti and Bjurman. And we unfortunately lost. I was really pissed off with this match because they were 11. So, yeah, I was not happy about that. But then we, we turned it around, won again, or got a draw against Valksala that was in the top there. And then Jonathan Eriksson scoring and Tai Palle has done really good. And Carl Pettersson, you will see, he scored a lot of goals recently. Uh, Bjurman, Carl Pettersson again, they have worked really bad as a strike force here. And we actually keep the clean sheet, not too many in those two matches there. Max Lagerlöf, Carl Pettersson again, I, I believe second goal scorer now in the league. <coughs> Christopher Fredriksson, uh, Dan Eriksson, he's got some matches as well there. Not on as bad, but I want to give most of the youngster actually game time. And uh, yeah, free to there, but then we were very good defensively against Reimers Holm and won. Alfredo Martel uh, Norman, he's not played a lot, but I might play him a little bit more. Then we got the draw here. Bidriasson scoring his only goal. He's actually developing really nicely. And we have a solid there. Uh, Gert is not being good on the left wing, but Sasso and uh, or Constant. Con Kostadinov, Kostadinov and Birison has been really solid in the back there, so we find the partnership that works really well. And then Carl Pettersson scoring a hat trick here against Umiadana, and then a uh, Bjurman as well uh, doing one goal. So that's a dry partnership, uh, and they have actually they have one and a half starter. That was a, or actually I should show you that goal again because. Uh, no, there we, were. there we were. He's actually... That's a lovely here. I don't know what it's called in English. Let's see, uh, Lundmark shooting and then... He's claxed there. And then Peterson gets a through and shoots a very lovely shot there. And then in the 39th minute on the corner he's just free there. And so, uh, what is it called? Ans Ansumani is really good on uh, corner kicks. And Ericsson has taken the position in the goal as well there. <sighs> so we are really happy about that. I guess we can see here as well. Uh, it's a free kick here to B or Birjason and then Bjurman. So we have uh, Falk Shopping, the second. And then we have some friends. I'm surprised that... A serious guy that's even been in Division 1 and I think, yeah, they've been a Super Etan as well, so they even in Division 3 now. We're 4 points down, so we could be, we could be 7 points down too, so I hope that will be the case after this. And so we made some signings and I don't think we got the youth in tech. Uh, Simon Krohn, uh, he's pretty good. He's played in Östersund recently, so in Allsvenska. He's played as well in uh, S uh, Super League in Denmark and then Malmö FS. So he has experience way higher up than this. Unfortunately, we can't register him now. And then Sebastian Hever, also good enough for Division 2. He's recently played in second division here. Definitely good enough for Division 2. And then we 
have moved up some players here. Lundmark with three, four assists so far. He's come in and done it good there. Anti, uh, I feel like our central defense has not been super solid except those two. So, uh, Ar Archi got the game time recently, popped in there. Uh, Adnan has not been great either, I guess we can say goal scorers and all. Colin Patterson, one of the best. Uh, he's all Christopher Fredriksson, but they are the players that are superb there. But elsewhere, Jakob Peterson, uh, Birgesson, yeah, some players that surprised me are actually Björn Sasso. There as well, so really good. Uh, so yeah, Jakob Pettersson has actually taken the spot. I know we said Ali Annan is better, but he has not played that good when he got in. <laughs> as you can see, it's not that much different either. It's a little bit better mentally, physically and speed-wise, but <laughs> it isn't two stars really. <laughs> <laughs> the, these two stars better. I don't. I, I kind of don't agree with those stars there. Umic as well. We have. He is out on national duty for on the night tiff. And then uh, Johan Olsen got up here. He's not on super though, but he could be a player to play with. Uh, okay, there are some clubs here that is interested in Division Two clubs. Guess we'll see, he's not done it that great though. So we're going with this lineup. Andreasen, as you can see, is not played it great, but I'm trying to trying to get him in. I know it's that's not great. We got rid of the under other Simon or whatever it was called. So going with this lineup for today. Uh is this uh, yeah, this is at home. So going with Christian Eriksson, not Christopher Eriksson. Jakob Pettersson, uh, Ludwig Birgesson, Sasso Kost Kostadinov, uh, Niklas Andresen, he's played way higher up as you can see. So unfortunately, he's played in uh, Super Etten a long time, but recently, I guess he has not played that much also, so I have to just play him in form or whatever. Fredriksson, uh, Lagdav Lekström, uh, Taipale, Olauson, he's not played great either. So both of these I'm trying to play in form. <laughs> Bjurman as a target man and Carl Peterson as a uh, pressing forward. So those worked really good. I could show you here his stat wise. Or can we? No, can't see here. I was thinking if we could see who's the top goal scorer here. Uh, no. Okay, so he is the second best there, so that's not too bad actually. And uh, let's see who is the best average rating here. Okay, yeah, there's Christopher Fredriksson, so or Christopher Fredriksson. So he, I think he might be a player, which we can't do yet. But Holmquist is. Oh no, he's not long now, but he was long listed before. Now he's actually. Injured, but he's just got the uh, one match in all Svenskan. I guess we could see how Gifson Svall is doing. He's not even first in their bot bottom of the league, so they said that he was good enough for Super Etan, so it's a little bit weird. It would have been better if he went to Super Etan club instead of all Svenskan club, but I can, can understand. He thinks it's good and he wants to play. But yeah, maybe not the best to go to the bottom. I was thinking, I can't remember exactly what I was thinking here. Uh, how many matches are left? And two, three, four, five, six, eight. I think we might just be back against Udsmål or when we can secure the title. Maybe when we can secure the titles, like maybe Scandinaviska or the Bro. They are also a title fighter there. Or the last match of the season. But we will be back. And then I will show you as we well our youth intake. It wasn't a great start. So I was really worried I would get sacked. But now, recently matches. We have found our starting lineup. And it works fairly good. 
surely we could have matched it, we don't win every single match and I think this is going to be definitely one of the tougher matches and we already concede after even one minute, that's just lovely uh, I was hoping at least we could not concede that early on but yeah I feel like our defense might not always be the best thing ever I don't know, uh, we have lost two matches though, so it's not that bad. Could have been way, way worse, but mm, I don't... Uh, the issue is also that we don't really have a good goalkeeper. Oh, type Taipal, oh, that's fortunately, <laughs> it wasn't the other way around, because so... It would be lovely if we can get the draw here. Andreas and uh, Andreas and not been great, so I'm a little bit worried that he's not going to. But that's a great. And now what well, it was the other way around that Anti Taipale actually with the assist there, and that's better than the other way around. So Taipale here with the cross, and then Carl. Pe I I'm so excited about Carl. About Carl Patterson, I believe I said the wrong about his surname as well, but so he probably can't be get that good. But we, since he is scoring that many, oh, <laughs> maybe we should sign this player. He scored five goals off. He's just fifty percent, <clears throat> and this is the issue. <laughs> the backline. I always feel like we had the good uh, midfield. I guess the strike is not superb, but they have still talent and, and the back line. Mm. And Christopher Eriksson, he has a lot of potential, but not really outstanding. And he has just two stars, like Drago as well. And I tried Drago and says make those two changes. Nordeman. Would like if we could score another goal, at least get a draw here, at least a point. As you can see, it's still very close. We have like four team fight there, or maybe even yeah, down to six plays is actually pretty close. It's just six points between us and the six team there, so yeah, we have to definitely be concentrated and such. Uh, unfortunately, Andreas Sen is terrible. Like, <laughs> I was hoping that we would, he would get better here. See the worst one here, Fredriksson. I'm going to. I don't know, he's more right back, sadly. Going to get him in there. At least I'm playing right now. He was annoyed before I didn't play him, but it's still not 6.3, is really bad. So, for each change, I've seen what we can do. Adnan. Jakob Pettersson seems to do really good and it's really good throw-ins and crossings. <laughs> he, might, he might not have that good attributes, but I, I've seen in the game that he's assisted to. He's done the throw-in and then he's assisted to... Or then he got the back ball and just crossed it in, so... Taipalo. Great pass there. Lawson. Oh, great! Now then, Pearson, 10th goal of the season, what a partnership there. <laughs> Taipalo with a lot of assists there. It's a little bit fortunately because I tried Lundmark there and it's not bad. But, but as you can see there, we have a right back in, so Fredriksson, mm, he's a little bit inconsistent for my taste. Uh, I don't really know what we should do do here it's not I do this just to at least get a point I don't know if it's terrible but Loris uh, can we even see how good he is there is 14 on uh, free kicks and 12 on corners so it's not actually both of them can play on the left back so it's a little bit uh, players they can play on left back even out none there isn't outstanding but still can do decently oh don't concede there please at least draw I would be like. Oh, Peterson! Oh, that's a lovely ball through there. Will he do an assist as well? He does! Alfredo! What a man. What a man Carl Peterson is. I didn't thought that he would be. It was like I said, I believe the 
past episode, but even being more so, <laughs> like winning the goal scoring league with four was difficult. Uh, Bjurman has probably scored like three goals. Eriksson has scored three goals, so all have two and a half stars. It's difficult to decide. They're all about to say no. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Can we save this? Ah, oh, it goes the right way. Well, even if we just get a draw here, I'm still pretty happy with us. This was one of the tougher games after. Oh, this is where it no. Ooh, that that's just lucky. That's just true luck. Ooh, oh, the fighting effort to get the ball in to score the final goal. The nice thing is most of the matches we either win or draw. Like you saw that we have, we have like one or two losses. So we're pretty good on that. But I think oh, next season. I'm scared of next season. I know we have some players that are good enough for second division. But I'm still scared. I, I know it isn't like the big, big boys. But it's still uh, Simon Crow now. I don't remember what he was called. And uh, Hever, they are both good enough for second division. So as you can see, everyone here, even Bill Born, I actually uh, have given us some game time in the reserve system <laughs> since it's been so tough recently. Uh, Bjurman have just one star, but it's good finishing. Okay, it's slow, but it's still scoring goals, four goals there. Uh, I guess we could see his worst of actually Ericsson, but he's not played a lot, but I can see as well. Norma has not played a lot, so maybe he should start more. I guess we will see how we do. So yeah, I'm probably will be back when we have secured it. Leak, uh, if that happens, hopefully we not, do not bottle it. So 22 matches left, so we have 8 matches left here. Oh, it's almost like we have to actually put in some friendlies here, because it's just 2 matches per... But well, we will have a run out here with um, 4 friendlies, and then... Here at the 15 we will be able to registrate some players and as usual probably going to check as well if we can find someone. But most players, it was those, I was surprised that Kroon was like interested even. Um, but they said he was just 50% which was re really weird if he was good enough for second division. But yeah, most of the players that I find that is good enough for second division says, I think it's just our reputation is too low. We don't want to join you. <laughs> so yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day. And I see you soon again. So...